it's surging all across the country. Christina Parts Navalis joins us from Uniondale, New York. Tell me more about this surge, Christina. You have an unprecedented convergence of, you know, national unrest, a pandemic, and a presidential election. So you're seeing sales soar. Look at the line just right behind me here in Uniondale, New York. I spoke to the owner of this gun shop who said that despite the increase in sales, there is also a very slow process to get these permits approved. Listen in. People worried about pending civil unrest. Um, also, the political climate within the country, um, people worried about their um, right to have a gun changing. He went on to tell me, too, that really the slowdown in New York City has to do with the lack of manpower due to COVID. And so that's really slowed things down. But across the United States, we're seeing sales just in the first seven months of 2020 up 91 percent. Americans bought 15.1 million guns, and that's not even for the full year. With the increase in gun sales, though, we did see an increase in gun-related deaths. Uh, deaths were up 25 percent for 2020. But overall... We're still anticipating the sales to increase. The owner of this shop did tell me that he believes they will continue because of concerns about stricter gun control under the Biden administration. Stu, so, back to you. Yeah, we've seen this before. Christina, thanks very much indeed. Now I want to bring in Ryan Rep. He's from Brownells. Brownells sells guns. It is a gun company, and business is clearly booming. But, Ryan, I want you to tell us who's buying, because we understand this. Well, five, six, seven million new owners of guns. Who are they? That's right. Yeah, Stu, thanks for having me on. The NSSF is estimating at about eight million new gun owners actually in 2020. And they just don't fit the caricature of what many would consider to be the average gun owner. Um, you know, based on our sales, if we compare that to NSSF data, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot more guns going to urban areas. About 40% of new gun owners are actually women. And African Americans are buying it. They're the largest growing group at 58% up year over year. Uh, African Americans are buying 58% more guns than they bought the previous year. Is that an accurate way to put it? 58% more? That's absolutely correct, yep. And women, 40% buy, 40% 40, 40 more guns in the hands of women than a year ago. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, that's absolutely accurate. So if you take the NSSF data and you pair it to what we have for sales data, I don't think it's unreasonable to hypothesize that a significant number of these people uh, are, are from uh, Democratic or other political ideologies. Uh, and we're talking about a constitutional right here at the end of the day, and not what is something that gets politicized often, but, you know, it's, it's not just politics. This is, this is the Constitution we're talking about. What about the guns that women are buying? Are they mainly, primarily pistols or some long guns? Yeah, women are, are, are buying pistols, self-defense pistols, uh, but th th that's the hottest category. Pistols are, are by, by and large the, you know, the, the, the lion's share of that, followed by shotguns and maybe your AR-15 type of weapon. Ammunition. Um, I have a place in rural New York, and there's a line around the door to buy new ammo. Is that a nationwide shortage, and what's the problem? Yeah, it sure is a nationwide shortage. Uh, you know, you have, you have brands like, I think, Vista and others who have announced just incredible uh, back orders on ammunition. problem, I think, really is is there's, there's a, an incredible demand. Uh, people are just buying up everything they see, but you have to think about the factories, particularly in 2020, who were not necessarily expecting to see this uh, giant increase. And so they've got raw materials that they've got to go out and find that they didn't necessarily plan for. So it's sort of a, a, the perfect storm for, for ammunition manufacturing. With all this increased demand for guns... Have you raised prices? You know, we're trying our best not to raise prices, of course, with, with scarcity and, and the uh, manufacturer trying to find raw material it requires us to raise prices just a little bit, but we're certainly trying to keep them down as much as we can. Okay. All right, look, thanks very much for joining us. Important information on who is buying these guns. Very interesting. Uh, come back and see us again soon, please. Ryan Rapp. Okay. Um, it is very much a down market. The